Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So today I will be doing an updated skincare routine. Uh, a few of you, a few of you had requested it, so here I am. I'm gonna be doing it. And just the first thing that I always do. This is my makeup worn all day for more than more than eight hours, I'd say. I was wearing this, and the first thing I do is use my makeup removing or makeup cleansing tissues, and I use these Scala ones. Um, this is the same one that I used on my previous skincare routine. I get these at a local beauty supply store. I love these. Like I have tons and tons of these because I, I love them so much. They just take off my makeup so well and they're very inexpensive. I will try to see if I can find some online. That way I can link it down below. I know that Beauty Treats makes the same ones and maybe... Uh, cherry moya I'm not really sure I'll try to see if I can find them online and then link them down below so all I do is just take off my makeup like this and this removes my eye makeup you can tell my makeup there removes my eye makeup so well I'll fold my tissue like this and I'll put it here on my eye and then count for about 10 seconds I guess I'm not really that precise but that's what I do down you guys can see some of there do my other eye as well and sometimes this is just not enough I mean I could still keep on like trying to get all the makeup out like I always do this for my mascara um you guys can see there I keep on trying, but what I find it very easy, I'll use the same tissue, and then I'll just get this Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover, eye makeup remover. I was using my Lancome uh, waterproof makeup, uh, makeup remover. I already finished that one, which I'm barely doing my empties because I hadn't been saving them up. So I'll just get some a, li a little bit of this, put it on my eye, and this just helps my eye makeup remove my eye makeup much much easier just like that and then I'll turn my tissue I use the same tissue you know and this eye makeup remover it's so gentle so soft and very very gentle like I don't feel my eyes getting dried out or anything like that so I am done removing my makeup with a tissue. So now I have done removing all my makeup with a towelette. Now I will be heading to the restroom to go wash off or cleanse my face with my Clarisonic and my Origins checks and balances. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Alright, so we're here in my restroom and what I will be doing is I'm going to be taking my Clarisonic and my favorite facial cleanser which is the Origins checks and balances. Looks like this. I'm gonna combine it. I'm gonna be opening the hot water. Hopefully, you guys can see it well. And I like it to be pretty. I mean, it warm, but I like it to be very more hot than warm, just because it, it helps my pores, you know, open. So I'm just gonna put some water in my face. Just like that. I'm gonna wet my brush as well with warm water. I'm going to be putting a little bit, just a tiny bit of this cleanser. Like that's all I use. And I only use this at night time. So, here we go. I start off with my chin. And you guys will see how much this lathers. I go up to my nose. All right, there it beeped. That way I can go up now. To my forehead. Just go like this. I'm gonna go to my cheek. We're done. 
that's how much more makeup it got i hope you guys can see with this lighting that's a lot of makeup that this cleanser just removed so all i'm going to do is just wash my face again And don't forget to brush her brush, wash her brush as well. Whenever I wash it, I always twist it and get it out. And always like store it up like this. And this is it for my Clarisonic. Now I'm going to go back to my room. Alright, so we're back in my room now again. And what I like to do is that... Whenever I use that cleanser, I still get a little bit more residue of that makeup that I had or my eye makeup that I had. So I'll just take a little bit more of the oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena with a cotton round like this. Just get a little bit. Just to remove that excess that we had. So just go down, clean it, go down, clean it. And I love these cotton rounds, as you guys can see. That's how much excess or extra that I had. I love these cotton rounds. You guys can buy them at, I get mine at Target. I take another cotton round and you might be thinking like, well, you're using a lot of them. But I seriously do this every so night. What I do next is I use a toner. And the toner that I've been using lately for, I think, around two months already. And I really have been loving it. Has been this Olay Oil Minimizing Toner. Looks like this. And it also has witch hazel, which the witch hazel that I usually use is the Dr. Dickinson's, I believe, which I also have here. I have it in a little spray bottle just because the big container is like huge, but I have some here and I, and I like that one too. I like that one too, but I really have been enjoying this one, especially this is great for oily skin type. So just use any toner that's suitable for your skin type. I've been using this one. And I'll just, I'll, I mean, it doesn't say to shake, but I always shake. I just, it's just, it's just a habit that I have. I always shake it and then just get some on my cotton round. About that much. And then I'll start off with my chin again. I always start off with my chin. I don't know why. I always start off with my chin. And I just pretty much, I'm applying it. I'm not doing it. I'm not pulling my skin at all. If it seems like I am, I, I promise I'm not. I'm just kind of cleaning it as well down I do not put anything around my eye area I do not do anything like that I'll just go around here around here and up here so I do I want to mention really quickly that whenever I have active breakouts or blemishes which at the moment I do not have any I just have some a little bit of scabs and a little bit of blemishes here and there but they're not active they're already dried out um, when they're active before I apply my toner like right after I get back from my Clarisonic cleansing thing I put on this mint julep mask which I got at Sally's and I know they also have them in that big tube they can buy at I believe at Walgreens I like to put it all over my face or maybe especially on those parts where I have active breakouts and I'll just leave it there for about 20 minutes and then I'll rinse it off and I'll continue with my toner. But since at the moment I don't have any, I'm going to skip this, but I wanted to mention to you that that's also part of my skincare routine, except I'm not going to be using it today. After my toner, I follow on with my moisturizer. Now for my nighttime moisturizer, again, I have different ones that I've been alternating for this past two months again, I think. About a month, a month and a half, I've been sticking to the same one ever since I bought it. This is the one that I, I also, I actually consider it my holy grail now that I definitely consider it and, I mean, recommend it to anybody out there, both men or any women. ages out there. I mean, I really swear by this now. And I really like this for nighttime just because it's very, very moisturizing to my skin. And it is the set of fill moisturizing skin and moisturizing cream and it's for dry and sensitive skin it looks like this and I still have 
a little bit less than half left. I still have this and my husband uses this. I use this every night and I love it so much. So I get about that much. And then I'll apply it like this. Super moisturizing. Again, I'm going to skip the eye area. Oh, and I also apply it on my mouth, on my lips. Believe it or not, it helps my lips moisturize as well. I definitely recommend you this. And even if you have oily skin, use it throughout the night. It's really going to help. You're, you'll just feel the difference, girl. Try it. Give it a try. It is about like $13 or $14, which is quite expensive. But this has been lasting me. I have seven months with this jar. And my husband uses this. I use this every day. And we sometimes even use it for our elbows or our feet. Yeah, we've been using it. Then for my eyes, I've been using this product that I've had also for over seven months already or I think even more now probably it's more um, and it's my advanced night repair eye cream looks like this from Estee Lauder it comes with this little spatula here which serves very well to massage your under eye and all I do is just I just get a little tiny bit this is on um, more on the higher end it's it is a little bit expensive but I've had over I'd say I have over like seven or eight months, even probably even more. I'm not remembering. I don't remember when I got it. Do you remember when I got it? I don't remember when I got this. Um, for a drugstore alternative, the only drugstore that I have, um, you can use this roll on Garnier roll on, but this is more for like, I would recommend it more for the daytime just because it does have a little bit of color you know a little bit of coverage but I've also been kind of alternating over this one with this Olay anti-aging eye roller I've had this for a month now but I mean it's still moisturized and still does a really good job so all you do is pretty much you click it here and then you'll get the product out here and it also has these little like balls here that way you can also massage your under eyes so you can use this but the one that I've been using for over a month now has been this Estee Lauder like I said and I think I also had been using this on my previous skincare routine so I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been doing to my skin so all I do is I just get a little tiny bit like that hopefully you guys can see it and then I'll just apply it under my eye just like this and it feels very cooling and very moisturizing. I also apply some on my eyelid. So there we go. Just get a little bit more for my other eye. If you ask me, is this worth the money? Because it's around like $55. Um, yeah, it, it is worth the money. Plus, um, I would re definitely recommend you that if you're going to get this, try to get it when there's a promotion going on. When you spend over like $30 or $40 on Estee Lauder, they give you like a bag with makeup and other stuff. So definitely, if you're thinking of picking something like this up, try to invest on this because this jar is going to last you a long time. If you're going to invest on this, definitely get it when there's a promotion going on. So that's it. All I do at the end of my skincare routine is apply my Nivea lip butter I'll be alternating this one with my EOS but I find that these are this one in particular is very very moisturizing so bring it on just apply some and I'll just apply like oh like even if I go past my lips I just like to apply just to have that moisture there and I am finally done. This is my skincare routine. This is what I do every night. Um, some days, like I said, there might be some days where I miss. For the majority of the time, I usually do this every night. And it's just been a habit. I mean, sometimes we all get lazy. 
I'm, I know it's lazy just to go through the house while taking off your makeup, going to the restroom and cleansing off your, your makeup again, your face, and then coming back here, putting cream, like it, it gets tiring, like you'll be like, oh, it's too much work, but trust me, I used to be like that and now I see the difference and I'm so glad that I'm doing this routine now that I'm still young, you know, I'm just kind and of like I'm doing this my skin before it gets more maturity, you know. And it's just a habit, you have to get used to it and it's now it's just part of my routine and I do this every night. So everything you saw here, this is literally what I do every single night, step by step. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and maybe had some answers to some questions that you might have had in regards of my skincare. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching as always. Have a great night, a blessed night, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.